Okay, I'll uh, give our next question to Ms. Sophia Brown Ramsey, please. Thank you so much. So I think we've touched on this a little bit already, but I, I kind of want to push it a, a lot more. Um, in my work on a regular basis, I'm in the community a lot, and I see a lot of uh, parents, single parents, single mothers who have a lot of issues around childcare. So I want to go back there. And so we know we don't have the, a national uh, uh, child care system here in, in Canada. But what we're hearing is that Canadians seem to want to have the, the federal government to adopt this. What is your party going to do to make sure that this happens? Let's go with the Green Party first. And that's speaking, and I, I, I and I say this respectfully, I, I really would love to see um, you take it down to the Brampton level even. Like, if we can bring it home to where we are right now too, I'd really appreciate that. Pauline Thornham. What the Green Party is proposing is uh, GLI, Guaranteed Livable Income, which would uh, streamline and simplify all of the laws that we have or the, the uh, give, uh, gifts that we give to people to keep them uh, welfare, etc., would be a guaranteed livable income, which would bring it to a $15 an hour basic, uh, basic wage. And that way, people are allowed free to uh, pay for childcare, they're, and they're able, you know, so it, it would happen in Brampton, it would happen everywhere. It's, it, I mean, I understand that it's... And how do you propose to pay for that? Well, was one of the ways is the uh, raising the taxes to... Uh, corporations, which used to be at 28%, they're down to 15%, and we're, as, the, as in the government, we would be pushing the government to um, bring the tax up to 19%, which would give a whole lot of extra cash to, to these programs. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead, but with the MDT, Rosemary Keenan. I'm glad you raised that, Sophia. So this is one of the key policies of the NDP. Um, affordable child care, no more than $15 a day for parents. Um, the reason this is so important in Brampton, the reason this is so important in Brampton is uh, we have an average age of mid-30s in Brampton. We have um, 40 to 45% of our neighborhoods are low income or very low income. We have many parents uh, where one parent must stay home because they cannot afford the cost of child care. If we have a national child care strategy and we increase the child care spaces by one million across the country, um, then we allow both parents to get out and Thank earn you. a decent wage. Thank you, Ms. Keene. I'm going to go to uh, Ruby Sahota from the Liberals. Final rebuttal on this question. Yes. Um, we. We are the only party that is planning on changing this child benefit uh, that's received by families. We're going to cut it for those that are millionaires, and we're going to bring the focus back on the families that need it the most. So the middle class, the lower income families, on average, through our plan, they will see about $2,500 more a year. Some families up to $6,000, $7,000 to $10,000 a year in this plan. They can pay for child care. It'll lift 315,000 children out of poverty. Um, through our infrastructure plan, we will also prioritize child care spaces uh, that are so desperately needed in Brampton. Um, but the families can choose what they require. Under the NDP plan, it's quite quite the mirage. They're saying that we're going to have $15 a daycare. However, that's not going to happen for another eight years. Thank you, Mr. Hota. 